They called it Black Monday. I know. <laughs> Why? Well, man, anything it takes to piss off these billionaires. These are the dickheads that own the newspapers and saw us all day. This is my fucking chance to get them back. I'll spend it all, Tristan. Doesn't matter how broke we go, they'll go broker. To the end. Fucking shit. Diamond hands. <laughs> It is game over. So if you don't live under a rock, I'm sure you've uh, been seeing what's going on with GME and AMC. Um, and Andrew Tate has been pushing this hard since yesterday morning. Uh, GameStop and AMC both gapped up today, opening up like 100%. Since then, they pulled back, and now they're only up like 30% for the day. Uh, but from the top, these are some pretty big red candles, but... Yeah, like down 40% from the peak that they hit this morning. Um, but just absolute insanity in the market. Uh, and Andrew Tate is just like pushing this hard. So we're going to just play a couple clips of him today just talking about this stuff and then kind of talk about how this could be affecting the rest of the market and what this could be hopefully a leading indicator for uh, for crypto. But let's play this other clip that, that he made kind of just talking about yeah, the whole situation, what he thinks. You can call me Top G, Top Diamond Hands. I am Diamond Hands on GameStop forever. Every single piece of GameStop I buy, I will never sell, whether it goes up, whether it goes down. I'm effectively just throwing money away. I'm donating money towards the cause that I never want to see again. And I'm going to buy as much of it as I possibly can, and I'll tell you why. We're in a spiritual battle, friends. Please understand, this is good versus evil. This is the common man against the system, the matrix. And right now, as they continue to halt trading and make it more and more difficult for me to buy across multiple brokerages in different countries with different banks, it keeps halting for some reason. And the reason is there's some guy with a vaccine sitting in a room who's very upset that we're doing things we're not supposed to do. We're creating memes and we're laughing and we're having a joke. And he's pissed off because it's supposed to be the big corporate machine crushing the common man. He sits there with his shirt and tie and he wants everything to be the status quo while they rip us all off. And now we're doing something they don't like. So they're getting upset. And that matters because it's a spiritual battle. Him having a frown on his face and me laughing while I waste money, which I'm never going to get a return on, matters. Because in the grand scheme of life, morale is everything. It doesn't matter how capable an army is if it is not motivated. Morale is the bottom line. We must unite behind this cause. This is not about making profit. This is not about being successful on a trade. This is about pissing off some dork somewhere on Wall Street with a fucking vaccine and a tiny Johnson. That's what this is about. And I don't care what it fucking costs. I'm Diamond Hands till the end on GameStop. So as you can see, uh, who knows how true all of this is like what his actual intentions are but when you have roaring kitty coming back deep fucking value and then you got andrew tate and you got these big names starting to push this that have a lot of influence i mean you can see the effect that's already had they've halted the stock an absurd amount of times um in the past 24 hours like since yesterday amc as well amc holy it nuked from the top but yeah 50 percent. but it filled this like gap that it made that would have been a great entry under six dollars which is so stupid it's still expensive but this thing could go so much higher um if you remember how this played out last time in 2021 how crazy these things ran um and tate even said he never sold his 2021 positions um he said the feds took his brokerage account and he returned with a vengeance to yolo millions he says i want to burn it all i want to burn it all and we'll Play this clip too from 2021 uh, that so he stands, made. There's a hedge fund manager who, when it wakes up tomorrow morning and Wall Street opens, if the GameStop price opens at the current price, he's going to lose $13 billion, his entire hedge fund. So me and Lucas, we just cashed some Bitcoin. We're putting 50 grand, 50 G's, yep. 50 grand in at GameStop at this price. I don't give a fuck if I lose it all. I don't give a fuck. I just want this hedge fund manager piece of shit these Wall Street fucking greedy bank pig cunts. 
I just want him to lose. So now I'm reading more and more. These Occupy Wall Street guys are doing AMZ, AMC, BlackBerry, whatever. I'm cashing. I'm putting this right now. I'm cashing half a million dollars of Bitcoin right now. And I'm going all in, maximum leverage, all in on all these stocks. Luke, we're losing all the money. We are taking down Wall Street. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take all his down. money. We're going to take them down ourselves. I'm taking Wall Street down. Watch me. Fuck so you can see he was even on it back then. Um, it's just crazy to see this thing really repeating and happening again the way that it did in 2021. Here's another little meme, me trying to ignore the meme stock rally and focus on long-term investing. And I swear to you, I've never felt FOMO like this. Uh, I've obviously, most of the cryptos that I hold, XRP, HBAR, these utility coins, they haven't done much. And I've watched other cryptos run up and it hasn't bothered me. But for some reason, the amount of FOMO that I have felt on these moves on GameStop and AMC the past two days is insane. Even yesterday morning, I saw AMC at $3.50 after I already saw GameStop moving. I was like, AMC like moved last time too, because it's another meme. Maybe I should throw some money in, but I didn't have an account ready with money in it. I said, eh, I'll stick to the stuff that I have. And hopefully this is a leading indicator. And that's what we're getting to here. Um, these charts from Crypto Amsterdam, we're living in a simulation for real. The total altcoin market cap is at the exact same spot as the... 2021 GME pump when altcoins followed shortly after. So altcoins were here, you know, pushing up towards their all time highs, like the total altcoin market cap, when GME happened. GME happened, and then the altcoins took off and blasted off. So now we have GameStop going crazy again, and altcoins are in the same spot. If we come over here, I'll show you. So if we look at the last time that GameStop did this, I'll just give you the dates really quick. It really started to go nuclear January 13th, 2021. If we come over to total three for crypto, altcoins, January 13th, 2021 is right here. So right in this little cluster right here, in the middle of running back to all time highs before it had this big leg up. So like Wall Street Bets posted on Twitter here, they said retail needs their fiat gains and then we rotate into crypto. So could this be playing out the exact same way? Could we be getting this massive pump and the retail euphoria coming back into the market through the stocks, GameStop and AMC, and then we get all of that money rotating back into crypto and that's when Bitcoin starts to really break its all time highs and everything gets parabolic. I think it's possible. Um, as we see here, you know, just showing how many BARTs we've had, Bitcoin's just been so unbelievably choppy uh, on the shorter time frames, just up, down, up, down, up, down, back and forth. So we're really waiting to see a price break here, like one way or the other, because it's just been super boring. And I think that's what gets a lot of people out of the market in a reset sentiment. So. A longer post here from XRP uh, LeBroccoli. Could this be the play? And it's just talking about how someone here posted that clip of Tate talking about how the meme coin stock rally is going to blow up the gl global uh, derivatives market. And here he's talking about how on, fa on face value, what most people think XRP is here for is cross-border payments and to take over what Swift is doing. And this guy's saying that that's a small part of the puzzle and that Ripple's true intention is to handle 100% of the transactions on the derivatives market which is quadrillions of dollars. Um, so you can come look at this, pause if you wanna read more, but just thought it was an interesting take, something else to look out for. We'll end with this final clip from Tate, a little bit of inspiration. This is a promise from Top G himself. If you do the right thing, if you have some skin in the game, if you are brave, God will reward you. The way you walk will change. The things you say will change. The way you act will change. Women might finally reply to your DMs. You'll be amazed how fantastic your life can be if you just do the right thing for once. God is waiting for you to be brave and to stop being a fucking coward. This is a promise from- so, Yeah, we'll leave We'll leave off with that message. Be brave, I don't know. Make the, make the hard choice. <laughs> have some courage, have some faith, I guess. Uh, stick to what you believe in. And yeah, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments on all this, on this insanity. Uh, leave a like, helps out the channel a lot, and subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a thousand subs. And as I speak, I knew that would have been a good place to go on right here when it filled that gap. 
and it's already pumping back up. So both of them. So let's see how this thing plays out. Hopefully it carries over to crypto and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.